So we're here in the field, the flight test, the Alta, and I'm here with Mike Hagedorn from Free Fly. How you doing, Mike? Hey, nice to meet you. This is quite a rig we've got set up here today. I recognize the Alta, obviously, from in your workshop, and it looks like we've got a gimbal down below. Yep, really excited to show it to you today. As a pilot's perspective, it's a real treat to fly this guy. Um, once we start it up, you'll hear and see how amazing this thing really is when it's in the air. So we just undo the boom hinge latches here, and then we can just start opening these arms. And this is the liberating thing about this particular aircraft is it it's so fast to set up from those just snap in car to shooting in just moments here. So yeah, we just want to make sure we have a good lock on those. Here we go. So we're gonna boot this guy up. This is the signaling LED and it's just going through the booting sequence. It does an accelerometer check, a gyro check, all the other systems, make sure all the motors have been recognized. And then now we have a slow white flashing light and we are ready to fly. Watching you fly it, I mean, it just looks very light. You can just see it responds very quickly to your inputs. Yeah, I think that's just in, you know, to do with the thrust margin that's available to handle any sort of stabilization that needs to happen. Well, cool. Why don't we go check in with Nick, who's uh, serving as our camera operator, and see what he's got going on. Hey, Nick. So I'm guessing everybody watching this video understands the controller that Mike is using, but why don't you tell us a little bit about this one? What is it and how does it work? Yeah, so this is the uh, the Mobi controller and what this allows me to do is to control the Mobi right here from the ground. You've got a joystick there and you've got several knobs. What do they do? Yeah, so the joystick that I'm controlling right now is allowing me to reframe the shot. And then I've got a bunch of dials up here that allow me to adjust my tilt, roll, and pan stiffness. So I, I can dial in my shot really specifically. Oh. And then I've also got uh, iris control down here, focus and zoom here. So when in combined with the free fly wedge, you can pull all three channels from, from right here. That's amazing. So you, you've really got all the controls a cinematographer working on the ground would have at your fingertips, even though the camera's up there. Absolutely. Yeah, we wanted to make sure that it was in one robust package. That way you can handle everything for your command station. Cool. Alright, so now that we're all safe back on the ground, let me ask you a question. What is it like to, for the two of you to work together as a team to fly this? That isn't a common experience for most multi-rotor guys these days. Yeah, I think it definitely takes a lot of uh, communication and planning. Operating with a pilot and a camera up here would be very similar to if you're on a film set and you have a dolly move that you want to execute. You're going to communicate the speed, the duration, your AC is going to be able to pull focus. It's really just a lot of communication and practice. There's a lot of combinations of moves that you can create with the remote helicopter with the drone, just finding you know the symbiotic relationship with you and your camera operator, with whatever talent or action you're following, you know to create these dynamic moves just takes practice and you know repeating it time and time again. They're letting us fly it, and Tekkenstein's going first in case I wreck it. If I didn't notice it was a camera ship, I'd say it responds really well. It kind of has, doesn't have the automatic like altitude hold, but it has a lot of power to it though. It wants to go, but it's very stately. I'm gonna fly it around a bit here. It really has some nice, smooth feel about it. It's kind of hard to describe. It turns nicely, it has a good yaw authority. I'm really happy about that actually. There's no camera currently on this because, well, you know, we don't want to do anything bad to a red. But uh, it's very controllable, very, you know, I feel comfortable flying this aircraft. I can put it exactly where I want it. Even though the sticks aren't set like a, like a DJI that kind of hovers mid-stick, it's hovering amazingly well. And I'm not even touching the throttle at the moment, it's just sitting there in the sky. And we have a bit of wind right now, and it's taking the wind <laughs> like it wasn't even there. So, there we go up. It's 
got a couple of neat features he was pointing out to me. Like, for example, you can lock the thing in on position. So if you're trying to descend, you don't want the motors to accidentally shut down. You can lock it so it's on, that's it. So you can't disarm the aircraft. Um, that's a cool feature, it's a safety. Um, then of course you can lock it off with a safety. So it's on the ground, you, you lock your system so it can't arm itself if you're fiddling with the camera or whatever. It's beautiful to, to feel this thing in the air. It is so smooth, and we're not flying it in GPS mode, but it just, it handles so well. And the yaw in particular, I find to be very impressive. And even as it leans into the wind here, we have now got a pretty significant wind, and it's moving against it without any effort at all. It just, it's so smooth and so powerful. I've scarcely gone above midway on the sticks here, and frankly, I don't think I want to go any further than that. Uh, Mike, a few minutes ago, was showing us a full throttle climb, and it was frightening without the camera on there. So it's, it's a very impressive machine. Well, not to mention a, a basically a zero throttle descent. It was just smooth and perfect. It's really quite something. I wouldn't try that. No, no, no <laughs> zero throttle descents for me. <laughs> it, it just kept the aircraft level and smooth. It was kind of weird, actually. I've never seen it before. Yeah. Not that nicely. No. Oh, I've seen aircraft descend, but <laughs> at well, zero throttle. It was something about the stability, even in the wind, it was just, it was just solid. You know, it's on GPS mode, but it almost looks like it's in GPS mode, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's just, well, it's, it's a nice big aircraft, just, it just sits there in the sky, and even though the wind's going, it's, it's so easy to compensate for. Yeah, without even thinking about it. So that was our look at the free fly Alta. Oh, what you're watching? See you next time. Fly safe. <laughs>